Right now, time is short. We have some really difficult problems and we need some practical solutions. All of the projects in Healthy Hives 2020 have practical implications for the beekeeping industry. Healthy Hives 2020 and Project APISM um, and all the other stakeholders that are involved in the beekeeping industry have been working diligently to try to come up with solutions to help our honeybee health. Hi, this is Dan Schmale, pollinator research scientist at Bayer, partnering with Project APISM on our Healthy Hives 2020 initiative. Healthy Hives 2020 is a partnership between Bayer and Project APISM to deliver solutions to the beekeeping industry. Bayer has been very active in pouring research into honeybees, whether that be through developing safer pesticides, whether it's developing bee health products like a varroicide. Working with Project APISM has been an integral part of Healthy Hives 2020, with their strategic partner who understands the commercial beekeeping industry as well as the research community. Hi, I'm Danielle Downey, Executive Director of Project APISM, and we're excited to talk to you after several years working on the Healthy Highs 2020 initiative. Project APISM was founded by beekeepers and almond growers, and from those grassroots, we've grown up to fund projects working with researchers, and so we're really at the intersection of the industry and the research and corporate sponsors have now allowed us to fund a much broader variety of projects and more projects. The Healthy Hives 2020 projects I'm excited about. My name is Steve Shepard and I'm a researcher at Washington State University. My project with Healthy Hives 2020 was to evaluate some of these different subspecies of honeybees and how they uh, interact with the environment. Uh, specifically weather-related conditions. Making use of that genetic diversity within the species is a, kind of a largely untapped resource for beekeepers. Hi, I'm Brandon Hopkins. I'm a WSU researcher and I work on a Healthy Hives 2020 project that involves beekeeper management techniques using RFID software and tracking. Healthy Hives 2020 has contributed to my research by providing funding for graduate students and has really spurred this project on uh, to bring it to the beekeeping community. My dream result for how beekeepers apply this project is to use a tracking system not just for their colonies but for their labor and management decisions so that ultimately they can increase the number of colonies that they have at the end of the year and decrease their annual losses. Hi, I'm Julie Shapiro. I'm supporting Bee Health through the Bee Integrated Demonstration Project. We know there's a lot of challenges facing honeybees and the intent of Bee Integrated was to try to solve those multiple challenges in one project and to show how that could be done by bringing together best practices. The way Bee Integrated works is that we pair together farmers and beekeepers. Farmers plant forage on the ground that supports pollinator health and beekeepers put their colonies next to that forage and habitat. In addition, the beekeepers and farmers communicate with each other and apply best practices to talk about when pesticides are going to be applied and how to mitigate any risks with that. We're looking at mite loads and diseases and we also monitor what flowers are coming up, what flowers the bees are visiting, and what's going on in the hives and we track that over the course of a summer. By putting a suite of best practices together, we're trying to show how you can take a multi-factor problem and create a multi-factor collaborative solution. Hi, I'm Aarti Seshadri, a faculty in the Colorado State University Department of Soil and Crop Sciences. My Healthy Hives uh, 2020 project is uh, studying the impact of phytochemicals on honeybee health uh, and disease tolerance. We talk a lot about our diet, uh, we need to also talk about the honeybee diet. In this Healthy Hives project, we are looking at the different chemicals in the nectar that can improve bee health. Broadly, this class of chemicals is referred to as phytochemicals, phyto meaning plants, and chemicals that are being produced by the plants. And the way we are going about this is by designing small experiments that allow us to uh, test the effect of uh, some phytochemicals that we know plants make and how do they benefit bees. You go to the grocery store and you look at the nutrition label and say, okay, here is what I get when I buy this uh, particular food item. So can we do the same thing for plants where we will say, if you plant this in your backyard, this is what the bees are getting. 
I think Healthy Hives 2020 is the perfect example of how stakeholders can come together, take a look at a problem, and begin to identify solutions and do the important research that helps us get to something practical in the bee yard. Being able to partner and leverage those relationships and leverage their ability to get funds where it will make the most meaningful difference is critical. We all rely on healthy honeybees. Whether we realize it or not, they're part of our food systems, they're part of our agriculture, and healthy honeybees means healthy people.